Hi, I'm talking to Tracy Stanton. Yes. Yeah. Um, she's from Forest Trends from the US. So Tracy, tell us something. Why are you here? I'm here representing Forest Trends and a project of Forest Trends called the Ecosystem Marketplace. And we value, we try to create value and educate people around the values and benefits of ecosystem services. Ecosystem services like uh, water quality, carbon sequestration, uh, biodiversity, things that Mother Nature provides naturally, but we tend to not value in the formal economy. And the work that we do in Forest Trends and the Ecosystem Marketplace is to raise awareness, create that value, and educate people through the use of market mechanisms um, around the values of these ecosystem services. So give me an example, you know, what, are, what do you expect from coming to Stockholm, coming to this conference, uh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you hope to do? Well, this year my role is a little different from my role last year. Last year I was a member of the press because the Ecosystem Marketplace is an online information source about environmental markets. Mm -hmm. So we, I was here covering the other participants. This year I'm doing both, wearing two hats. I'm covering the, the participants and covering the presentations and what's happening here. But I'm also presenting the findings of a recent report we produced on the state of watershed payments. Um, watershed services are this very relevant here in, 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 at World Water Week, talking about water and sanitation. And when I was here last year, I noticed that they didn't have anything on the agenda related to ecosystem services and protecting ecosystem services. So we weren't talking about water filtration through a forest, for example, which is a very valuable ecosystem service. Um, so I, I was keen to, to bring that body of knowledge that we work on to the water and sanitation audience that's here in Stockholm. So I'll be presenting the findings of that report. Excellent. And also covering, for example, the more um, market-related activities that, that the NGOs or the private sector companies are working on. For example, Nestle has a booth here. And, and I just noted they're the only corporation that has a booth. Um, I, they're, most of the other booths, as I went around, are NGOs, the multilateral donors, um, the foundations. So it was interesting to see that Nestle's making their presence known in the work that they're doing in protecting water quality. Thank you, Tess.